6.7. This is a very short example. So if you have an infinitely long cylinder, sorry, I'm looking for my note. Okay, take two. Okay, so problem 6.7 reads, an infinitely long cylind circular cylinder carries a uniform magnetization, capital M, parallel to its axis. Find the magnetic field due to this magnet magnetization inside and outside the cylinder. Okay, so uh, so it's important to know that for a cylindrical or for a circular cylinder, so let's say the orientation is in this direction, is in just like this. Sorry. Okay, just have to adjust this. Okay, so if the magnetization is in this direction, sorry. Okay, so if the magnetization In this direction, okay, so inside the cylinder, um, the corresponding current density J and K will depend on the magnetization, okay. So remember that J is the curl of M and K is the cross product of M and N hat. Now what is N hat? So if this is your cylindrical cylinder or circular cylinder, the N hat will be in this direction, which is Okay. Again, we're using cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, so remember that if this is S hat, this is Z hat, this direction is E hat. So that means uh, the curl of M. For the curl of M, because M is uniform, that means this is a constant. The curl of a constant is zero. So in this case, for in this kind of system, where you have a uniform magnetization, there is no current or there is no bound current within the volume. So that means the only current that is present will be on the surface. And what is that value? Now, if the magnetization is constant, so therefore we can express M as some constant M, that's the magnitude of the magnetization. And let's say that is Z. So if this, is, if this direction is Z. This is now equal to M times the cross product of Z hat and S. So that's Z cross S equals P. So in this case, so the resulting uh, current along the surface or bound current on the surface will be along the direction of P hat. So in this case, 
process in this next direction. Okay, so this is if this uh, approximates or this allows us to assume or to consider the current on the surface of the cylinder to be a solenoid of infinite length. Just remember, this is an infinity long cylinder. So therefore, uh, so this tells us, sorry, this tells us that the magnetic field outside is zero, just like your solenoid. And the magnetic field inside will now be equal to mu kb, which is equal to mu naught times n. So this is your magnetic field outside and magnetic field inside. Okay? Questions?